Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this small tips and tricks, I'll show you how to add bloom effect in Showcase. In Showcase, it is possible to create bloom effect or glow effect in the hardware rendering viewport and save it as part of your shot. To create bloom effect, you will need two things. First, you need to adjust the material to be a self-illuminated material. For this particular example, we'll find a material that is applied on the watch ends and change it to a self-illuminated material. For this particular cases, this material is also applied on the side button of the watch, which is great for this example. So with these objects selected in my scene, I will browse to the Autodesk material glass and find the self-eliminated light bulb. So the light bulb is turned on. So by default, this material will have a self-eliminated turned on under the properties. So while opening the material properties, I'm going to make sure that the self-eliminated properties is turned on which it is because the light bulb is turned on for this particular example. But I'm going to change the color of it so it's a little bit more flashy or more colorful for this particular scene. And I'm going to pick a bright orange, which recalls the color of the watch. The next step will be to go under the view menu and call the camera properties expand the show more control and turn on the bloom effect. So you see the minute I turn on the bloom effect, you can see the slight glow happening around the self eliminated material under the viewport. Now you can refine this bloom effect by changing the image control and make sure that it's set to high contrast what it is by default and you see the difference in the viewport while you do that. The other thing you might take into consideration is to change the size of the bloom, which is set by default to a medium to a large side. So you'll see the bloom effect is a bit wider by doing that. So I'm going to set it to a large size. I can also change the threshold to be a little bit more uh, contrasts. So expand the whiteness of the environment and therefore the bloom effect in my scene. So you see, by decreasing and increasing the, the threshold, it does affect the bloom effect in my scene. So of course, you'll have to find the happy medium for the specific scene that you have. You can also increase the intensity of the bloom effect and you see that the highest point here are getting affected. Now, keep in mind that it does affect the brightness of your environment as well. So again, here you'll need to find the happy medium uh, for your proper scene. Now, keep in mind that the background environment is tightly linked to the bloom effect of the camera because of the high contrast or the brightness and darkness that is present in the environment. As an example, if I change my environment here for the ID bloom environment, which presents less high contrast, you'll notice that the bloom effect is almost gone. So I would have to readjust the properties of the bloom effect depending on the environment that I am using. Now, once that you're happy with the bloom effect in your viewport, there's also a way to save it in your shot. So here I can create a new still and under the still property, you notice that I can save this uh, bloom effect within the uh, camera shot. Now to save the bloom effect on an existing shot, load this shot, load the properties of this shot, make sure you check the option to save it and reset the position. Now, if the bloom effect checkbox in the properties of the shot is unchecked, whichever way the viewport is set up, which for this example, I'm going to turn the bloom effect off, it will be taking what is saved in the viewport. So rather or not, you have the bloom effect turned on. So to make sure that some of the shot don't have the bloom effect, so perhaps you want to have some shot without it, you turn it off in the viewport, you load the properties of the shots and you uh, checked the save 
option and you reset the position. So these shots, now that I'm resetting the position, don't have the bloom effect turned on. So whichever way the viewport is being set, it's being saved that way. So now in my scene, I can have shot with bloom effect and shot without the bloom effect.